What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to modify the railing that we have created last time together with the stair. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm gonna select this railing here. And then after that, to change the type of this railing, I'm gonna check the properties. And then from the type selector, just click the drop down arrow. And then I'm gonna use here handrail pipe. Okay, so I'm gonna select this one. And there you go okay so if you want to create the 3d view of this um, stairs okay so what you can do is you can click the stair or the railing and then after that you can select here the selection box just click that one and then you will be able to see now your stair now um, let's turn on the section box so I'm gonna click here reveal hidden elements and then let's click the section box and hide element and then let's turn off the reveal hidden elements tool by clicking this icon here and there you go so we now have here our uh, section box so I'll just adjust that one okay now the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the type of the railing on our uh, landing stair on the landing area so I'm gonna select this one and then I'm going to create a new type of railing so I will select this and then after that I'm gonna select here edit type and then let's select duplicate and then after that I'm gonna call this uh, wall wall mounted railing okay so I'm gonna select your okay and then after that let me just uh, check here the rail structure by selecting edit and then this is the current type so instead of using a rectangular handrail I'm gonna use here a circular handrail so I'm gonna select this one and then after that I'm going to select here OK and then OK again and there you go so it's now uh, circular right now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to modify the baluster of this uh, railing here so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I need to load the family that I will be using for this uh, particular uh, railing or ballast uh, uh, railing for the baluster so I'm gonna select here the architecture and then after that um, uh, I, I go to the insert here because I need to load the family so I click load family and then after that I'll just go to the work files family so I need to load this handrails okay so I click one of the handrail hold control and then click the other two handrail right and then after that I'll just select here open and then it's now being uh, loaded to the project so these are the family that we will be using for our uh, baluster placement okay so the next thing that i'm gonna do since it's already loaded so i'm gonna select now the railing and then after that i will select again the edit type to open the type properties and then let's click the baluster placement edit okay so just click the edit and then you can now see here the edit baluster placement dialog box or window okay now for this one for the main pattern I'm gonna change this so instead of uh, handrail square so I'm gonna change this to handrail bracket okay so I'm gonna select that one and then if I select here uh, apply and then okay okay so this is now how it looks like right okay so let's furthermore edit our uh, railing here so I'll select the railing and then edit type and then after that uh, baluster placement so let's click this one and then all right so here for the post so I'm gonna change this I'm gonna load the family that we have loaded a while ago so I'm gonna select here uh, round with extension start offset 
and then for the corner post i'm gonna select also here the handrail but handrail bracket and then for the end post i'm gonna select here a uh, handrail round extension end so i click that one and then after that i will select here okay again and then okay and then let's see how it looks like and there you go okay and then you can actually further uh, modify your railing here so let's say for example uh, you do not want to have your railing there you can click your railing and then edit the uh, profile so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select here my uh, entry level floor plan so we are going to edit the railing uh, sketch so i'm going to select this railing here we click that and then after that let's select edit path okay so i'm going to delete this railing here we don't need that and then since railing should be done continuously without a broken or uncontinuous line so i need to delete this and then recreate this uh, railing here separately okay because if i'm gonna finish this one Revit will not let me do that one because you need to connect these lines here. But since we deleted the line here, so I'm going to delete these lines here as well. And then I'm just going to recreate it separately. So I'm going to select continue. And then I will select this sketch here, delete. And then I'll select here, check, finish edit mode. Okay. And then after that, let's check the 3D view. Just uh, ignore the warning. So this is now how it looks like. Okay. Right. Okay, so there's just seems to be a problem there. So let me just edit again the sketch. So I will click this railing here. So where's my railing? Or maybe I'll just select that in the 3D view. Okay, so I will select this. Uh, railing here and then edit path and then let's go to the entry level floor plan so i don't need this okay so that's it for that and then i'll just select here check there you go so let's check this out in the 3d view and there you have it so it's now modified so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a separate railing uh, to this side here which is we're going to host to our stair here okay so to do that let's go back to the entry level and then let's go to the architecture and then let's look for the railing tool and then we are going to create a sketch here sketch path so let's click that one and then after that so we are going to pick a host here so our host is the stair so i'm going to select the pick new host and then we are going to select the stair here as our host so you click and then after that, using the line tool, so we are now going to create our railing to that side. So up to this point here. All right. And then after that, just select check to finish. Okay. So if you're going to check that again in the 3D view, so this is now how it looks like. Let's click this one. And then let's change the type okay so let's change that to wall mounted railing and there you have it okay and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select this uh, railing here and then i'm gonna edit edit type and then let's change the baluster placement uh, distances so at the moment it's uh zero zero three eight so I'm going to make this, let's say, for example, half of an inch, one half inch, and let's see how it looks like. One half inch, and then let's select your OK, and then let's select your OK. OK, 
Okay. So there's not much uh, difference. So, so how about let us change more distance. Mm. Okay, so how about I make it one. Make it one. Let's see how it looks like. There you go. All right, so you're able to modify the distance using that uh, option. Okay, so by selecting this, the railing and then clicking uh, Edit Type. And then you can go to uh, Baluster Placement and then you can just play around with the spaces here. Okay, and then let me just put it back again. Oh, okay, so I think this one is 3 8 of an inch. I'll just copy that to the end post. Apply, okay, okay. There you go. All right. So that's it. So basically, that's how you modify your uh, railing. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is you can actually create your railing separately. Okay, so for this exercise, we hosted that in our stair. Okay, so now the next exercise that we will be doing is we are going to create our uh, railing separately from the stair. Okay, so if I'm going back again to my entry level here and let me open the uh, second floor. Let's open up the second floor. And then I'm just going to zoom into this area here. So as you can see this this floor here so i want to put let's say for example a guardrail okay because in the 3d view so this is how it looks like so let me just click the section box go back again to second floor and then let's edit this one the section box so i'm uh, i'm trying to create the 3d view of this particular area where we are going to place our railing so you see it's kind of open there so we want to put a guardrail, let's say, for example, in this place here. Okay, so to do that, what I'm going to do is, okay, so let me just zoom in there so we can see in the 3D view. Right, and then close the other view. Okay, so let me go back again to zero to floor. Let's zoom in. Let's use the tile views for us to be able to see the two views here. Okay, so let's put the railing to this side here. Okay, so to do that, architecture, let's go to the railing. Again, we are going to sketch path. And then after that, if you check the properties here, so we are on the second floor. And then for the type here, I'm going to change this to guardrail pipe so i'm gonna select this and then i'm gonna use an offset here so i want to offset my uh, railing from the left side of this side here of our slab okay so i'm gonna select offset here and then i'm gonna type four feet for example and then let's us now use here peak lines so let's click peak lines and then let's offset that Okay, so I think four feet is too long. How about four? I mean four inches. So I'll just type four inches. There you go. Yeah, all right. So this one is nice. Okay. Else offset and there you go. Okay, and then after that, let us now select finish edit mode to finish up. And there you have it. Let's select modify here and this is now how it looks like, okay? Or uh, what you can do, you can also create a perspective view of this area here by going to the 3D view here, drop down arrow, and then you can create a camera view. You can click the camera, and then I'm gonna put the camera somewhere here, and then I'm gonna place my target location here. There you go. All right, so there's now our, uh, you can also orbit from here. So there's our stair, uh, there's, uh, there's our railing. So we can change our visibility to shaded view, okay? All 
right? Okay, so basically that's the basic of how you modify the railing that you have created. So that's how you create your railing without the host. Okay, and then that's also how you modify the railing that is hosted to your stair. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.